Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here and today let's talk about how we install KitOps in Blender 2.8 as well as how we create a version of Blender that we can use to debug KitOps if we're running into any kind of problems. Okay, so let's get started. So by now you guys know the routine. You'll want to go to builder.blender.org download and there you'll find the latest version of the Windows or Mac or Linux Blender 2.8. Eight, and that's what we want to use. Keeping in mind that these are updated daily, so you don't want to get too far behind as there are lots of significant changes and updates that are being made all the time, at least up until it becomes a production version. So here are the files we're going to want to use. First off, of course, latest build of Blender. Then we're going to use the latest KitOps 2.8 build. And as we mentioned, that's a little bit of a moving target. So as Blender 2.8 gets updated, so will KitOps. Then you're going to want to download the KitOps Pro or whichever version of KitOps you have, the zip file, because inside here are going to be the KPAC insert files that you're going to want to use. So let's first set this up as a brand new pristine install of Blender 2.8. And the reason we do this is so that we can just isolate the KitOps add-on. And this is great for bug testing. So here's how we do it. I'm gonna take this Blender zip file that we downloaded from the Blender site, and I'm gonna unzip it, and I'll get this folder here. And I'm gonna double click on here, and I'm gonna find the blender.exe file. And I'm gonna right click on that, and I'm gonna say, create shortcut and then I'll take this shortcut and I'll drag it to the desktop so now I have a place I can use to launch my blender from and I can delete this one then I'll go all the way top and in this folder 2.8 I'll go in here and I have three folders I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to call it config all lowercase and it'll be empty and the reason why I do this is because if I don't blender will use my existing configuration folder which just happens to be over here, Chip Walters, App Data, Roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender, 2.8 scripts, add-ons, actually uh, 2.8, this config. So it'll use this config folder right here. I don't want to use that. I want to create a brand new config folder so it has no other add-ons associated with it. No other startup files, nothing. So that's why we create this config file. Now watch when I launch Blender what happens. Okay, now that I'm launched, it's going to ask me if I want to use the theme left. Spacebar play, I'm going to keep all of those. So now I've got a brand new version of Blender. I'm going to quit it. And now if you look in the config file, I have this user preferences file. So that's great. So now we want to install some add-ons. So where are we going to install the add-ons for this pristine test version? And how we'll do that is we'll go back into our temp folder. I'll go into my Blender 2.8 zip extracted folder. And I'll take this KitOps folder and I'm going to copy it. And then I'll go back into my Blender... 2.8 folder, scripts, add-ons, and I'll control V, I'll paste them. So now I have them there. Now, if you noticed in the master, all we have is this render scene and this thumb.ping. Now, let me talk a little bit about this render scene file for just a second. This is the file that if you have KitOps Pro, you'll use to actually render out thumbnails. So these are the thumbnails that this particular file renders. A quick note, if you're using KitOps 1.08 for Blender 2.8, this particular file, the render scene.blend file, is not current and it will take a very long time to render. So in that case, you're going to want to go to this URL and download a new version of it and replace it here. And it will give you thumbnails that look like this. Of course, this will be fixed in the next update of KitOps for Blender 2.8. So let's go back to our main folder where we downloaded all of our zip files. And next, we're going to go to the KitOps Pro version that we purchased. It could be Lite or it could be the one with the Mega Pack. So in this case, we have the Mega Pack. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to go into KitOps. I'm going to go into Master. And as you can see, I've got all of these folders in here in this master folder. Now, we've already copied over the master folder. We've already copied over the render scene.blend. And this one, by the way, is for 2.79 and is different. So make sure you do not copy this over or this thumb ping over. You want to leave these alone. But all of these, as you can see, there's a lot of different inserts in each one of these. And we're going to want to copy those over to our KitOps installation so we can test them there. Now, if we're just testing, we only may want to take one or two of these. But if we're installing, we're going to take all of them. So to do that, I will select all and I'll copy them. Control C and I'll go back into my Blender folder it's here. Go up to 2.8. Go back to my scripts, my add-ons. I'm going to look for KitOps. Here it is. I'll go in my master folder. And here, when I hit the paste button, it's going to move them all over here. 
So now we're all set. We've got all of our K-Packs. Each one of these folders is called a K-Pack and each one of them has all the inserts in them. These will all work with the 2.8 version of KitOps. So now we're ready to get started. Next, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna launch Blender. I'm gonna save my startup file so it'll remember the screen positioning and I will go into my preferences. In my add-ons, I'll just search for kit, turn this on. Now, if we look in here in the file pass, we'll see it's already established where that first set of K-Pack folders are, this master folder. That being said, one of the really cool things you can do here is you can add another folder. And so in this case, I'm gonna add another folder and I'm gonna choose a path in my Dropbox folder called K-Pack Art. So this right here, this is the actual folder that holds these two different K-Packs. So I'm gonna accept that. The reason why I use my Dropbox folder is so that I can share this master folder with Master Xeon or Proxy, the developer. Okay, I'll hit accept. And now we have this and we hit the refresh button. The refresh button is good because every time you hit the refresh button, it's going to actually update KitOps listing for all of the K-Packs that you've got installed. And then I'm gonna save preferences. So now we should be good to go. I'll select this cube. I'll go over here, press this. I'll see I have KetOps. I'm going to go into some simple cutters. And as you can see, all the tiles are rendered out. I can choose one and I can just say add insert and I can drop it in. And now I can scale it if I want to. Obviously, KitOps is working just fine right now in Blender. 2.8. So this is the way that we would prefer that you test out problems that you're having because this is a brand new clean installation of Blender with a clean version of KitOps and no other add-ons are installed that could be conflicting with it. Okay, so a couple more things. One is that down here you have this P for the KitOps website and you have this question mark. If you click the question mark, it'll take you to the KitOps manual. And in the KitOps manual, scroll down, you'll see installing Blender 2.8 and it'll tell you some instructions for installing for Blender 2.8. Also under other install information, there is a link that gives you information on installation paths that you may want to be aware of. And that's what I want to talk about next. So now I want to install KitOps in a place where I know every time I download a new version of Blender, I don't have to reinstall KitOps. So let's see how we do that. Well, first off, we'll need to make sure that we get all those files we just created. So I'm going to go back into the Blender folder 2.8, scripts, add-ons. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it because I want to move it. So I'm going to say control X. And then I happen to know that this is Chip Walters app data roaming Blender Foundation Blender 2.8 scripts add-ons. This is the folder that Blender creates for me when it doesn't have that config folder that we talked about. I'm going to basically hit paste here there, but I'm going to skip these files. I've already got that done. Okay. So now I'll go back to where I was. I'm going to go into the 2.8 folder and I'm going to delete this config file. And now when I launch Blender, it's going to launch with my last version of known configs. And you can see I have the two K packs that I installed from Dropbox. And these are all the ones that came with the 300 mega pack. Now, the next time I update Blender, all I need to do is update Blender. Don't put in that config folder. When I do that, then it will automatically load in all of my preferences from my previous Blender 2.8. Now, this can be a little bit tricky from the standpoint that you sometimes may need to load factory settings if there's been any big changes. But many times, you'll probably have heard of that. So that's a quick tutorial on how to set up KitOps in Blender 2.8 and how to set up Blender 2.8 as a pristine version for testing KitOps. Thanks for watching. See you online.